Hey guys, it's Leah and welcome back to my channel. So I'm not really sure how long this episode of Star Wars Controversies will be, um, but I just kind of want to get my thoughts out there while it's still fresh on my mind. Um, many of you have probably heard of me talk about it a little bit in some of my other videos on Solo, A Star Wars Story, but this week's topic is Lando's sexuality. So if you're not into those types of videos or you get offended easily, I have plenty of other videos that you guys can go watch now. Um, so. Before Solo was released, um, Lando's sexuality came out as they said that he was pansexual. Um, and I do have like a lot of issues with not his pansexuality, but how um, film and Hollywood media are deciding to include LGBTQIA plus community um, in films. Because it's not really inclusion. It's a small talk show conversation on the side where they decide to say, oh, he or she is bisexual, or oh, he or she is asexual, and in Lando's case, he is pansexual. And his, Donald Glover's response to that was, it's space. Like, there's plenty of things to have sex with in space, basically. Um, you know, like, there's a blob, like, nobody really cares, like... <laughs> And I just think, like, after watching Solo, it, it was to be expected because there was um, no hints to his pansexuality besides some strange droid L3 thing that, if that was their attempt at making him pansexual, did not really make any sense. Um, because to me, throwing a droid in there, making some, you know, innuendos, does not make a character pansexual and it's kind of just a poor attempt at inclusion so that they could say that they put someone from the community into their film without actually having to do that. Now I do understand that there is a lot of red tape sometimes involved because not everybody is as progressive or forward thinking. Um, so there is a little bit of a struggle there when trying to place characters. but. The way that they're doing it is just not, to me personally, in my own opinion, not okay. Um, I don't think it's okay to heavily advertise a film and then to, on the sidelines, say, by the way, this character is such and such, um, and then not actually portray or show that on screen. Um, you know, women for the longest time and still continue to face that struggle uh, where they would kind of just have their token female character and I can say that after Star Wars I feel like it was more than just a token female character and that they actually had very strong female leads which was an improvement but now I feel that the film industry has moved past the token female character now that they have gotten used to females being portrayed equally um, and with the same abilities and capabilities as males, now it has moved on to the token, um, you know, person for representation for gender, sexuality, and identity. Um, and I hope that that's all that it is and that they slowly start becoming more progressive and moving away from it just being a token. Um, and of course, these are just my thoughts and opinions on the subject. I know that there are a lot of um, people discussing it and they have their own thoughts and, you know, just remember to respect other people's opinions. Um, and I definitely hope that in the future they decide to take it further than just only feeling comfortable mentioning it on the sidelines of a film. Um, as usual, don't forget to give a thumbs up, leave comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.